and we are back with round four of this modern daily event and I am on the draw my opponent is deciding if he would want to mulligan he kept seven cards and do I want to keep seven cards um yeah I think I want to keep seven cards his hand isn't horrible it's not like insane win the game on turn two like I have in the past but it's um pretty good and uh, going in blind I think this is a keep but we will see maybe I will be mistaken and should have mulliganed but in the past mulligan with this deck has been pretty rough on me even though I think this deck mulligans better than most modern decks actually even though it's a uh oh so I'm playing against affinity did he keep a zero land hand? That would be interesting. Nope. Dark Steel Citadel. Spring Leaf Drum. Okay. Memnite. Man, do people turn one thought cast? Oh my goodness. Not even a Mox Opal. Okay. Summer Bloom. Huh. So I drew Slaughter Pact. Next turn I can Summer Bloom, play two lands. Next turn I Summer Bloom, play Tillary West and Cabinet Souls. Um. I think I need to bottom both of those cards. Okay. Let's see what happens. Ink Moth Nexus, Ornithopter, okay. So his hand is not very aggressive right now. Drew Teleria West, okay. I think I'm gonna play Summer Bloom. Play, play, name Giant. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's see if I'm dead. Am I dead? Are you gonna kill me? He's gonna F6. So he has another Ink Moth Nexus. Okay. I'm waiting for a cranial plating or something. There is the cranial plating. Pact negation. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I really wish I drew a land so I could slaughter pack, pack negation. But I only have five lands. Oh, I could even drew like Simeon Spirit Guide to win. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but uh, if not, I still have, I guess, one turn to win. One, two. One. T oh. Okay. Uh, so... Alright. <laughs> he well enjoyed. Okay. So I'm dead anyways. So I would have drawn gems on mine to win. Okay, so there's that. I will side in these cards. Pyroclasm. And I think a Ghost Quarter. I'll take out a. Take out a Gemstone Mine, I think. 
I'll get rid of a hive mind, explores, and a serum vision, and a pack negation, and submit. Uh, I would love to play first. I will keep this hand. This hand is pretty good. I think. I mean, this hand seems very good. I need a spell to win the game, but I have everything other than that in my hand. Can't play Serum Visions though, which is, I guess, fine. This guy has the word sequencing of his spells. I've noticed last game he went Mem Knight into Welding Jar into land, making me think he didn't have a land. So I guess he's representing Spell Pierce? No, he's not, because he doesn't have a land. Uh. Tap that for land. Tap that for land. I'll return Radiant Fountain, play Azusa. Play Radiant Fountain. I don't even want to play my Boros Gilgate because that slows me down. Because I need a bounce land to go off. Ugh. But not playing it is weird. Yeah, I'm just gonna F6 actually. So, let's see what he has for me. I guess he can attack me for two infect. Really could use an action spell here. Ugh. Okay, amulet. So he, he brought an ancient grudge, which is interesting. Seems like uh, if I was him, I wouldn't bring an ancient grudge, but whatever. It's a really interesting thing to do. Uh, I guess I'll play. I guess I'll play Boris Goldgate now. Turn that to my hand. Play Radiant Fountain. Go ahead and pass the turn. Holding up uh, Nature's Claim. Uh, so it's it's like a weird question. Do I Nature's Claim his? Okay, thought cast. Do I Nature's Claim a Inkmoth Nexus or a Cranial Plating if he plays Cranial Plating? Or just Steel Overseer? Pretty sure I just have to kill the Steel Overseer. Because if I don't do that, he'll win the game. Almost certainly. Do a Serum Visions I can't play? Oh man, this is brutal. Okay. So, I have a lot of cards I can draw to win this game. But I can't seem to draw him, which is fine. And he's just playing Thought Cast to fill his hand again, so. It's a little um, discouraging, the draws I've had. But uh, I still feel like I can win this game. Cranial Plating, okay. Um that's gonna make it a little more difficult for me to win this game but I still feel like I can win okay I'm taking a damage okay I guess I'll play Serum Visions None of these cards win me the game. So I have to bottom them both. I have to bottom them both because they both, none of them win me the game, even though I'm pretty sure I'm dead. 
I'm pretty sure I'm dead to these ink moth nexuses. Next I. He's just gonna activate one, blink moth nexus. I mean he could be afraid to I showed nature's claim, so he could be afraid of nature's claim. And that's what I'm hoping he's afraid of. I'm hoping he doesn't go all in on ink moth nexus. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen. He's gonna cranial plating his ink moth nexus. Yep. It's at nine. He attacks me. It goes to ten. It actually goes to eleven because of double pestermite, and I die. Which you know, I don't actually think this matchup is bad at all. I actually think this is a favorable matchup. But obviously that wasn't shown in uh, that game. It lasted ten minutes, if that, and I died. So I did not cash in this daily event, which is very unfortunate. Um, I was really trying to cash this daily event. Um, Modern, Modern Masters is in the full effect, and I was unable to cash this event, which sucks. I went 2-2, losing to Affinity that you just saw. Um, playing that game differently, I'm not sure if there's anything else. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's probably uh, different lands I could have played differently in that game to maybe hedge against some other things to win. Uh, I'm still new to this Bloomtime deck, but I think this is the deck that I'm going to be playing more often than not in uh, the pre-PTQs for the modern season that is coming up. Um, and I suggest that a lot of other people play this deck. It's very strong. Uh, I mean, it's pretty skill intensive, but it's a very strong deck and it's very unfair. And I think that what you need to be doing in this modern format is be as unfair as possible. Um, you don't want to let people just like play these fair decks and win, right? I mean, it's like legacy. Be unfair. If you can be unfair, be unfair. Um, I will uh, be making more modern videos though for other people to see their decks be played. So if you have a deck that you want to see uh, be played through a daily or an eight man event, please comment on the this video and say what deck you want me to play I have a lot of modern decks online and if the deck is not too expensive and I have most of the cards I can probably play it just shoot me a list at on the brink games info at gmail.com or just hit subscribe and comment on the video and suggest what deck I should play with a list alright this is GCB with on the brink games thanks for watching stay tuned next week for to see what happens next